Today's topic is polycystic kidney disease. Polycystic kidney disease is a genetic disorder in which clusters of cysts develop within the kidneys, causing the kidney to enlarge and lose function over time. Cysts are non-cancerous sacs containing fluids. The cysts may range in size from very small, microscopic, to very large, enormous. The cysts involved in polycystic kidney disease grow in tiny filters in the kidneys, called nephrons. Having large cysts or multiple cysts can damage the kidneys and may eventually lead to kidney failure. Polycystic kidney disease is the fourth leading cause of kidney failure. People with polycystic kidney disease can develop cysts in their liver and may experience other complications, including high blood pressure, problems with blood vessels in the brain and the heart, urinary bleeding, and frequent cyst infections. Polycystic kidney disease occurs equally in men and women. Causes Polycystic kidney disease is caused by abnormal genes, meaning that the condition runs in families. The abnormal gene exists in all cells in the body, and as a result, cysts may occur in the liver, pancreas, and seminal vesicles. The two main types of polycystic kidney disease include autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, or ADPKD, which is sometimes referred to as adult PKD because symptoms often develop between the ages of 30 and 40. However, children can also develop it. ADPKD accounts for about 90% of all cases. In the autosomal dominant pattern of inheritance, only one parent needs to carry the abnormal gene for it to be passed down to the children. If one parent has ADKPD, each child has a 50% chance of getting the disease. Autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease, or ARPKD, which is far less common than ADKPD, and symptoms often appear shortly after birth. Sometimes symptoms don't appear until later in childhood or even during adolescence. In the autosomal recessive pattern of inheritance, both parents need to carry the abnormal gene for it to be passed down to the children. If both parents carry a gene for this disorder, each child has a 25% chance of getting the disease. Symptoms Headache Back or side pain High blood pressure Blood in the urine Kidney stones Urinary tract or kidney infections Pain or tenderness in the abdomen Frequent urination Diagnosis and treatment Diagnostic procedure can detect the number and size of kidney cysts present and evaluate the amount of healthy kidney tissues. They include ultrasound, CT scan, MRI scan, treatment. Treatment options include controlling high blood pressure with medications such as angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE inhibitors or angiotensin II receptor blockers, combining low-sodium, low-fat diet with moderation in protein and calorie content, smoking cessation, reducing stress, and increasing exercise may also help control high blood pressure. Over-the-counter medications to control pain. In cases where the cysts are large enough to cause pressure and pain, surgery may be recommended to drain the cysts. Antibiotics to treat infections, such as bladder or kidney infections to prevent kidney damage, drinking lots of fluids, preferably water, to dilute the urine as soon as blood is noticed in the urine. For kidney failure, either dialysis or a kidney transplant may be needed. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.